welcome back to the spider's web where we continue our journey through death trap dungeon we had two votes from the uh, previous video one from Andrew Bremner and the other from Admiral Moo and they both wanted me to fight the rock grub you draw your sword and advance slowly towards the huge slimy rock grub. The rock grub has a skill of 7 and stamina of 11. So again I'm using blue for me and white for the monster. Let's see what we can do. Okay so 7, 16 for the rock grub and 10, 14 He's 16 for me, so nothing happens. We draw. That was lucky. <laughs> Let's try again. Okay, 7, 12. I beat it that time. So that's two points off the rock rub. It's down to 9. Let's try it again. 15 and I've got 18 so that's another two points off for the rock grub. He's down to seven stamina. So you've got seven, ten, fifteen, and I have fourteen, so that's two off for me. I need to kill this fella and then I can start. Uh, then I have to take my portion of stamina. Okay, so 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and I got 16. So that's two off for the um, rock grub. He's down to five. Next. Okay, I'll beat him again. I have he has uh, 11 I start off with 10 so I didn't really need to if, I want to roll if I was rolling seven. okay so he's definitely beat me that time 12 19 and I got 16 so oh no he's not he's not beat me at all 10 16 17 18 19 that was a draw I thought he'd beat me then Okay, 7, 10, 11, 12, 13, I win again, so that's another 2 off for the rock rub, he's now down to 3, I'll beat him on that one again, he has 13, 14, 15 and I have 16, 17, so he's down to 1 point of stamina. Let's see if this is the last point. I've got 17, I've got 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16. Down to two points down for me. I'm down to five. I really need to do something to him this time. Uh, yes, I've got him this time. Okay, so that's the rock grub out of the way. You step round the great bulk of the dead rock grub and peer into the darkness of its borehole. You can only see a few metres but are able to make out that it's inclined slightly and is wet from the secreted slime of the rock grub. If you wish to explore the borehole, turn to 317. If you'd rather walk west along the tunnel, turn to 117. And before I do any of that, I'm going to drink my potion of stamina to take my stamina back up to its maximum. So I now no longer have my potion of stamina and uh, I'm back up to 18 stamina. I think just walking away might be a better option now. Um, I 
don't think it would be a good idea getting myself into a little tunnel like that. There's nowhere for me to go if I run into trouble. So I think the best option would be to turn around and walk on, walk back west along the tunnel. So I'll go to 117. After a long walk down the tunnel, you come to a dead end. A large mirror reaching from the ceiling to the floor hangs on the end wall and in the dim light you can just about make out your own reflection. If you wish to take a closer look in the mirror, turn to 329. If you would rather make the long walk back to the last junction in the tunnel in order to head east, turn to 135. Oh dear. Um, it's a dead end, no point in looking in the mirror, is there? Um, I'll go to 135. Passing the Rock Grubs borehole on your left, you soon arrive at the junction. You take a quick look down the tunnel leading south, but do not see anybody approaching. Quickening your step, you hurry on east. You walk down the passage and soon find yourself standing at the edge of a deep, dark pit. The passage continues east on the other side of the pit and you think you could probably jump over the pit, but you're not sure. There is a rope hanging down from the ceiling over the centre of the pit. Will you throw your shield over the pit and jump after it? Jump over, your, over the pit carrying all your possessions or reach for the rope with your sword to enable you to swing across the pit. Um, Throw your shield over the pit and jump after it. There's an option. Jump over the pit carrying all your possessions. Too heavy. Um, not worth it, I don't think. Reach for the rope with your sword to enable you to swing across the pit. That might sound the best, better option. Let's have a, a try, see what we can do. Two, one, two. Gripping the rope firmly, you step back to take a running jump. However, in the dim light, you do not notice that someone has cut the rope almost in two. Just a little way above the section you're holding. As you swing out across the pit, it suddenly breaks and you scream with fear as you plunge headlong to the depths below. You land heavily on your back, but luckily your backpack cushions your fall. Lose one skill point and two stamina points. Nine skill and sixteen stamina. The darkness is almost pitch black at the bottom of the pit, and you crawl along the floor, groping in front of you. Suddenly, your hand touches something cold, hard, and smooth. The object is small and round, but you cannot figure out what it is. You place it in your backpack, hoping to see what it is once out of the pit. You continue to crawl forward and soon reach the pit wall. It's too smooth to climb and you have to cut hand and toe holes in it with your sword. This takes a long time. But finally you climb out of the pit in the east side. You immediately check out the objects in your backpack. You discover that you have found an orb of blood red ruby. You are absolutely delighted and head off east in high spirits, whistling softly under your breath. The tunnel makes a sudden left turn and continues north for as far as you can see. You soon arrive at a closed wooden door in the left hand wall. If you wish to open the door, turn to 12. If you would rather keep going north, turn to 100. Um, I think I'll try 12. The door opens into a large, candlelit room filled with the most extraordinary, lifelike statues of knights and warriors. A white-haired old man dressed in tattered rags 
suddenly jumps out from behind one of the statues and starts to giggle. Though he looks like a fool, the sparkle in his eyes make you think there is more to him than is apparent. In a high pitched voice he says, Oh good, another stone from my garden. I'm glad you've come to join your friends. Now I'm a fur man, and so I'll ask you a question. If you answer correctly, I'll let you go free. But if your answer is wrong, I'll turn you to stone. He starts to chuckle again, obviously pleased with your arrival. Will you wait for his question? Attack him with your sword, or make a run for the door. If I make a run for the door, he's going to turn me to stone. If I attack him with the sword, he's going to turn me to stone. So I might as well wait for the question. It's 382. The old man points at one of the statues, and you recognise it immediately. It is the knight who started the trial of champions. The agonised look on his face locked in stone for eternity. The old man smiled, saying, The man weighs 100 pounds plus half his weight. How much does he weigh? What will you answer? 100 pounds? 150 pounds? Or 200 pounds? Well, to me, reading that, it would be 150, but that seems too obvious. If it weighs 100 pounds, it won't, certainly won't be. Um, it certainly won't be uh, 100 pounds. 150 pounds seems way too obvious. 100 pounds body weight plus half is... I don't know, it doesn't seem right. It seems right, sounds right to me, but... I don't know. I really don't know. I really don't know. £100? No, not at all. Hundred and fifty, as I say, sounds too obvious. I'm not very good at maths, you see. So the way I would work it out: a hundred pounds plus half his weight. So if it, if he weighs a hundred pounds plus half his weight is half of a hundred pounds is fifty. Seems way too obvious. Okay, £100 turned to 144, £150 turned to 227, £200 turned to 391. This is short, but how would you answer? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, take care, God bless, and bye for now.